The battle to keep Bond Street open continues and it's a story we've been following since it started. A few months ago, Council Bluff City Council voted to approve a proposal from the YMCA to vacate Bond Street. But one determined resident is so determined to keep it open, he filed a lawsuit against the city and this morning was the first court date. 3 News Now Western Iowa reporter Isabella Basco fills us in on what happened and what comes next. Council Bluffs resident and pharmacist Tony Baraldi has been spearheading the effort to keep Bond Street open since the end of October. Now, the fight continues. I think we were all ready to testify. We were eager to, to get up there and tell our side of the story. But the hearing didn't happen today because the city filed motions yesterday afternoon to dismiss the lawsuit. For now, there's a small victory. The court says the city will not sell Bond Street until there's an actual hearing. We feel like justice has been served today. Baraldi says he'll keep fighting as long as he can. We're very concerned about safety on our street with all those excess cars coming. Um, we believe it's gonna be a, uh, a disaster for kids crossing the street, especially going over to a brand new park. It's gonna be uh, a nice park. The attorney working with Tony Baraldi on this case outlines what happens next. We are going to be ready to make those arguments um, in a couple of weeks here and uh, we look forward to uh, making those arguments to the court. Months later, the battle for Bond Street persists. Everywhere I go, you know, people are really uh, supportive of us. They want to see neighbors uh, that are concerned about their neighborhood stand up for themselves and be heard. And uh, I feel confident that the people in Council Bluffs support us. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now. The court reset this hearing for June 4th, and we reached out to the city for comment, but the city declined.